Vlasic. I'm with Digital Trust Asia, which is a group I formed a year ago to help stimulate the debate in Asia, which is currently going on in the U.S. and Europe around what's the right balance between the public's right to safety and an individual's right to privacy. And within that, how companies need to think about digital trust when they think about scaling their businesses, designing their services in advance and not just having this rush to scale and then thinking about consumer security in the digital world as an afterthought. What I'd like to do today is, is tell you a very simple story, which is the advertising industry used to be a very simple world. It was TV and it was some basic print between newspapers, magazines. And when there was an error, it was usually a human error. An ad was misplaced uh, in a certain magazine, it wasn't the right copy, or it was placed or not placed within the right TV program. What you're seeing now as the digital online advertising market is removing the human element, you're now seeing the rise of the programmatic element, which is creating a whole mess of problems which the industry knows about, but hasn't really tried to tackle aggressively. So. You know, a lot of forecasts basically are predicting the programmatic market is going to place basically almost every ad that you will see in a digital world. Now, I want to play a little game with the audience. I'm going to show you three ads, two of which are real. And when you look at these, these types of things were similar to ads in the old world, where it was on a TV program or you know, placed in a magazine or a newspaper. And this is you know, the same problem that occurs in a digital world, but then I'm going to take it to another level and show you how the problems are much greater in a digital world and they're not currently being addressed. So you've got a New York Times article, which is about the Malaysia jet, which crashed, and they're currently still working, looking for and finding pieces for. And then you have an, an Apple ad appearing on the New York Times website showing a scuba diver underwater. Here's a Google search for the word suicide, and what do you think comes up for the ad? And the third one is a UK article about slave labor being used by, by big clothing brands. And obviously, H&M is mentioned in the title. And you have an H&M ad appearing right alongside it. Now, two of these are actually real. One is fake. So who thinks the iPad Air ad is fake? Put your hands in the air. Okay, that's actually real. Now, you've got a 50-50 shot for the next two. Do you think this ad is real, or do you think the Nike Suicide ad is real? This is actually the fake ad. The Nike, the Nike ad was actually suicide ad was actually real. Now these are these are similar problems in an offline world and an online world. But now, what, what you're having is, as you heard from uh, earlier uh, in the presentation, you've got criminal organizations that are spreading malware, click fraud, um, collecting user data, and then um, going through identity theft. And what you've got now is big mainstream brands through this shift to programmatic advertising, which, uh, as John said, has no morals. You're basically seeing mainstream brands fund a lot of this illicit activity. Now, is this you know a human error, where it's sort of a failure that be, can be corrected? You know, is there an element where it's it's intentional or it's Kind of look the other way, well, that's where our target audience happens to be, just given by the parameters we've defined. So if we're putting the right ad in the right place in front of the right person, okay, is is this something that, that brands, you know, directly or indirectly are okay with? Now, none of them are ever going to come out and say, yes, we're okay. But it happens to such a large extent that the, the entire digital ad ecosystem has massive structural flaws. And there's a lot of high risk. You talk about identity theft. You talk about your computer uh, downloading malware, becoming part of a bot network uh, that then be can, can be used for uh, distributed denial of service attacks, uh, tracking your, your personal data, and, and allowing uh, 
uh, a lot of these criminal organizations to steal your identity uh, and your money. Now, there was some academic research done a few years ago which looked at pirate sites and what the proportion of ads shown on those sites were given uh, main mainstream brands, which could be a Tata, it could be an Amazon, or uh, typical kind of uh, sexually explicit content, gambling, uh, or other kind of illegal uh, purchases of products. And in a lot of markets, you actually see mainstream brands are actually very large. The blue section on these slides are actually the proportion of mainstream brands in these markets that are advertising on pirate uh, type sites. So in markets like Malaysia, Philippines, Vietnam, Taiwan, and Hong Kong, you have very large percentages of online ads being placed and purchased by mainstream brands. India wasn't part of this study, uh, and this is something that should be addressed in the future, but what we did while we were here recently was we just kind of looked online on some of the, the sites that we're aware of that are, are pirate sites and, and tried to get a feel for what sites come up. Uh, so for cat.cr, you've got jabong.com, which is an e-commerce site, which is placing its ad on a pirate site. You've also got malware, clickbait, uh, and you've got ads for Minecraft on these sites. Uh, online movie watch, watches.com, you know, it, you start with uh, basically being able to show the content, but then you start to see the uh, clickbait on the, on the side in terms of malware, and then you've got the pop under ads, which are actually ads that open up, not as a pop up on the screen you're looking at, but as a separate screen, and you've got Amazon India coming up on there, which this is not Amazon.com in the U.S., this is Amazon India. You've also got Facebook.com coming up on these sites as well. These are, I mean, these are some of the biggest brands in the world that are actively placing ads, purchasing ads, and directing money to sites that spread malware, steal your personal information, and such. 